know what happened. There we go. So normally it gives me a big honking error message I have to close out when it disconnects. This time it said it was connected, but apparently wasn't. <laughs> Chance my house on fire? Dude, that's totally true given my cooking. But anyways, um, going to read off the list in a minute. If you hear your name called, and if I could spell here, if you hear your name called, um, let me know in the chat so I know to actually review your team. And it's pretty simple. That being said, apparently my internet is stupid. There's the link to the list as well. All right, anyways, reading off the list. First on the list, Good Time Socks. Good Time Socks, first on the list. Second on the list, Red Birds Town. Third on the list, RWB Team. Fourth on the list, Hyper Unicorns. I feel like that account might have been sold or otherwise parted with by now. Fifth on the list, Manuel Sauceda. Sixth on the list, Cool Suit, which is Kim Sherwood. Seventh is Smiley. Which, some of these are gameplay only, but it is gameplay and team reviews. So Smiley, who's Palmetto Tigers. Justin Mize. Chose to Live, Edge Luke, Gregory 1998, Emmanuel, who's I Got This 11, Key Obata with his QWERTY UOP K account, Dot uh, Jr., Scarlin 23, The Evan, whose username is Fat Chickens 8989. Houseway Renzo, Mariotas, C Dizzle 3, Arctic Belugas, who's Gardy, CC, CP Commissars, Leno 2154. Lucas, you are on the list. Uh, depending who else is actually here. If you're Leno 2154, there's Cubs, Champs 2016, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, L, M, N, O, P. Legendary, Zombie Gaming, The Goat Squad, JD20 Best, who's Matthew, who I saw here, and then Lucas. So for sure by Lucas, we'll have our first team review. If you heard your name before that, let me know. Check in the chat. I, Money Gaming, if I don't have you added, I will. Yeah, let me, let me make sure I get you added. Oh, if I could know how to type with a keyboard ever. Actually, no. I, it's more rhetorical. The Overdrive, there is season mode, Evan. It's just not traditional season mode. What sucks for it is the tournaments. The tournaments are straight trash. But Lucas might be first up. Lucas and Matthew likely are going to be the first ones up unless anyone higher up on the list gets here in the next minute or so just cutting my pizza so then i can eat it in a little bit there we go cut it into eight slices i was gonna say equal but i if you know anything about my cooking the odds of me actually getting equal slices was less than 0%. I got him closest, though. Uh, Zach Putnam, was was he the reliever for the White Sox for a little bit? All right, well, we'll review Lucas first. Let's do it. Um, well, can 
I can do gameplay after I do team reviews. Evan, wish now your favorite team's the Red Sox? Yeah, they're a pretty popular team. I like them more than the Yankees. I'm a Twins fan, so I hate the Yankees because the Yankees constantly, constantly victimize the uh, Twins when it comes to playoff baseball. All right, I already have Lucas added. I just have to find where on this list. Probably not too far down. There we go. There we go. Get piece of pizza numero uno. Cute up as well. Gonna be a versatile, hopefully enjoyable stream. Yeah, I think the Yankees are super easy to hate. But that being said, I hate them more than most people. Here we go. Looking at Lucas's team. His starters. Um, okay, I do like Lilich's pitching. So I was going to say, there's some legend starters that are just not good. Zach Wheeler as the fifth starter at a plus five is kind of strange, to be honest. Um, I think the four and five starters get drawn the most, so... I don't know why your best starters are three and four. I'd put them one and two, or I'd put them four and five, just to be perfectly honest. I do like the pitch mixes on at least the first four of your starters, only because I don't know Zach Wheeler's offhand. Yeah. Well, no, Yankees gaming, I think if you don't like the Yankees... You almost are supposed to hate the Yankees. Uh, anyways, for AWWWR or Lucas's bullpen, two lefties, four righties. That's pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. Um. For your righties, you have really good righties. Um, Edwin Diaz, monstrous closer, one of the, I'd say, two or three best in this game, maybe fourth. I mean, uh, Jerry's Familia is pretty ridiculous, Trinan is pretty nasty, and Houston Street, but Diaz is definitely up there. You have Ozuna in your bullpen, another great righty, and because it's his high class, he can be either the closer or just a reliever. Hector Rondon, I believe he has seven pitches on his pitch mix. At least six. And he's probably worth a ton because he's a Cubs player. And you could probably sell him and get a similar card for cheaper. But that being said, it's a very nice card. And unless you really needed the GP, I wouldn't tell him to sell... I wouldn't tell you to sell Hector Rondon just for the GP. He'll just... Probably be more difficult to boost because of the team he's on. Um, and then Adam Odovino. I'm not familiar with his high-class pitch mix. He's not going to strike out Babe Ruth. Um, or if he would, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, Babe Ruth did strike out. But Babe Ruth would also homer off Adam Odovino. Let's be clear about that. If you get 10 at-bats, Adam Odovino will strike out Babe Ruth, but Babe Ruth will also go deep on Adam Odovino. Because I, that, that's just my honest opinion on that. For your lefties, Chris Sale, I mean, I don't like that he doesn't have a curveball or anything, but this card actually has five pitches, and it's pretty nice. This high class is pretty nice. Team Dirty, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Now I've seen you around before, or D Gardner. Whichever way. Now I've seen you before. Maybe not super recently, but I'm glad to see you here. And then Josh Hader. Uh, Alright, I've got to look up Hader and Wheeler's pitch mixes. I feel like Hader might have the basic one. He has good velocity. But a limited pitch mix might be his downfall. Looking at the hitting lineup, 
hitting lineup has been developed very well. Using the bench just for the team deck, that is a pro move. I have no problem with that. Tai Chi Tai, what are you what do you mean what? Um you said skull what? I'm not sure what you meant by that. In the leadoff spot you have Ellsbury. Ellsbury a good contact and speed guy with some defense in center. Not going to hit for any power, but you don't need your leadoff guy to hit for power. Reyes in the two-hole, kind of a second leadoff guy. And Altuve in the three-hole, kind of a third leadoff guy. I would maybe recommend spreading those guys out and creating like a double leadoff scenario. So, Although I guess if you really rely on contact, having your best contact up first does work. I'd say maybe have one or two of those guys in the first two. Move your power bats up a couple spots. And you could you could have like L Tuva and Wright create a second leadoff in like the six seven hole. And then have Judge and Luke Wright be like a second cleanup or something. Just an idea. Not saying you have to do that. Tai Chi Tai. Oh, because Adam Odovino like said that he could strike out Babe Ruth. Which we all know is, um, I, I, I mean, it's not completely inaccurate, but, but like, I mean, Babe Ruth would hit off of Adam Odovino as well. I mean, well, Yankees, anyway, I think you're failing to realize that Babe Ruth did strike out. He hit home runs, but he also struck out. I'm just saying Ruth would also take him deep. As for who you have the rest of the way, though, right at third, very solid. Miggy at first just, I mean, Miggy cards can rake like nobody else. I like Stanton and Wright. He has good defense, good hitting. Just not much speed, but you don't need speed from him. Chris Bryant in left. What is his, I'll have to look up his defensive grade in left. I'm not strictly opposed to that. I just don't know how his defense would be. Judge at DH. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably a really expensive card, but he should be able to, once again, really rake the ball. Then I'll have to look up Lucroy. The 2012 Lucroy, high class Bryant, Wheeler, and Hater. I'm going to look them up. I guess. The only, again, besides moving your lineup around, the only other real thing I can think of is maybe adding a third lefty. And I feel like Hater and Sale are very similar, so just replacing one of them with a second lefty who's a little bit different stylistically. Okay, well, I don't have to look up Bryant, now, you said it's F-grid. I mean, if he hasn't made an error, that's good. But what I will say is that... Um, man, like, having at least B-grade defense is pretty impactful, to be honest. If we look at Wheeler... His pitch mix is actually pretty nice. Now... Seems like the price point on some of your guys is rather expensive, which might not last forever, but as long as it lasts, it's pretty nice. Steve, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Um, if you're looking for gameplay, I'll be able to get gameplay in with you pretty soon. It's Angelo. Welcome to the stream. I will get you added to the order of teams that I am trying to get reviewed. Uh, what the? Get you added. So welcome to the stream. Jeez, this chat's loading kind of strangely. Oh yeah, I was going to look up Hater. Josh Hader is 2018. I believe that was his all-star. Which, I mean, again, a nice card. 
But the pitch mix between him and Chris Sale, they're basically the same pitcher. I would keep one and sell the other and get a sec- a different second lefty reliever. That being said, I it's not that either of them are bad. It's just that they're very redundant. And where you can use your bullpen every game, you don't want there to be as much redundancy. That again, that that's how I would build a team. So that's why I'm giving that advice. Okay, sounds good, Steve. I can definitely DM you if it comes to that. Should Santon get the hundred and four power? I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it because it is from his MVP year, and. 150 power would be really fun to see. Would it be OP? Sure. Would it be fun to see? Absolutely. And no problem, Luke. So I looked up your pictures. Oh, yeah, I was going to look up Luke right just to see how he is defensively. And then I will move to the next round of review. So it's 2013. That's actually a really good pickup at catcher. I feel like I haven't looked at him much because he's never on the market, but the fact that you got him, I I do like him at catcher. So, hopefully that helps with that. Lucas, did you want a, or did you want to play a game as well or no? Let me know. Because it is team review and gameplay. Gameplay and or team reviews are optional if you only want one or the other. But before I remove you from the list and then probably just put you back to the bottom of the list, I want to make sure that you had the opportunity. Chris Davis, yeah, man. I'm surprised it's taken him this long to get a good card. Like... Am I the biggest fan of Chris Davis? No. But I respect the crap out of what he's accomplished. Taking a second to eat a little bit of pizza. Uh, Yeah, we can some other time, Lucas. Here, I'll make a note of you gameplay only. And I'll keep you... On the list for gameplay only. Up next. If you believe you've been waiting for a while, let me know. Otherwise, I believe up next is actually gameplay with Steve. If he's here, if not, I'll hit him up on Twitter. I believe that's actually what I have up next. On this list. Zach Britton in the bullpen. It's not a bad idea. I guess it depends if he has this play or not. Um, oh. I think if Donaldson's healthy, he'll be really, really good for the Braves. Now... Will his production be MVP level? No. Will he be a massive upgrade at third over Johan Camargo? Probably. Not only that. Well, Camargo actually hit 270. That's not bad. But... It allows Camargo to be in a utility role, which makes him more valuable to his team. It gives him a good, consistent infield with uh, Freeman, Albies at second. I think Swanson at short if he's healthy. And uh, Donaldson at third. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think having a good, stable player 
can never hurt. Worst thing that happens is he tanks. He does like what Todd Frazier's done recently for the Mets. It's 220-230. But in which case, it's only a one-year deal. So it's not really involved. Okay, we're playing Steve next. Steve, I see you here. Oh, why can't I find you on my list right? Excuse me, right now. Why can't I find you on my list? There. Okay, you're a Tiger. <coughs> Excuse me, you're a Tigers fan. That's why I couldn't find you. Yeah. Try to Lewitsky. He's getting paid his full eighteen million, so I think you could sign for cheap with a contender. Kind of start a new trend in the MLB. Gamer Pro, welcome to the stream. You want to play? Um, remind me if you're using it. I think so. It's Angela. I do have you on the list. I'll post the link to the list in the chat just so you're not feeling like I'm <clears throat> lying to you or anything. Um, I'm just going <clears throat> excuse me, through people who have been on the list since last week or even prior to that uh, because they've been waiting a lot longer. Tiger should release Miguel Cabrera. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember you, gamer. I remember that. We can do that, and then Steve's gameplay, if that works. Steve will definitely get your game plan, though. Or... What's going on with the tournament? I haven't really posted updates, but if you... Alright, yeah, that's my bad nuke. Let me know. I, I did update the bracket... Nuke, you play Steve. You and Steve play. I'm probably... I'm probably going to have to, like, extend rounds a bit because... I was too busy to be on top of things recently. Honestly. So we'll probably have to extend rounds in fairness to everybody involved. But... You do play Steve or Leno twenty one fifty four. So the next two things will be games with Gamer Pro and with Steve. Yeah, V Mart did retire. So Man, the Miggy contract did not look that bad. I it honestly did not look that bad. I don't think anyone could have anticipated his injuries. I think he got, like, back-to-back -back MVPs. Like, but Mick, Miguel Cabrera was Mike Trout before Mike Trout. Just without the athleticism. By, by athleticism, I mean, like... Like, speed-type athleticism. Alright. I think we'll play Steve if he's down. We're just doing one innings um, on stream. Now, off stream, I can play longer. I'm going to use my brand new Jose Barrios. Brand new Jose Barrios. My team now in A+. Plus. Um, Most kind of, all right, I get to face Lester. Our teams actually stack up pretty evenly. Kind of an oofian that you didn't win a game in the tournament, but no, I, honestly, um, if I knew what I was doing better, I would have made it mandatory to have Discord for this tournament so everybody could be tagged, everyone could be tracked down, linked up with each other, message each other, and there'd be no excuses 
This is the Noah Tice Jose Barrios boosted up to a plus 10. Yep. The memory of Noah lives on. All right, here we go. Steve seem honestly looking very nice. Oh, what? That's right. I keep forgetting I reinstalled the game. So all of my camera angles and preferences are not in. What is this game, Bill? I mean, hey, I gotten out with the AI, but I did not want to use the AI. Nuke, when's my next food review? Well, I couldn't find Sprite with Cranberry. I literally went to like 10 different stores and they all told me they were out of it. So I ended up getting Berry Fanta, which then exploded everywhere. So if you want to see Berry Fanta exploding everywhere, G's Food Review could come out, or number four of Berry Fanta could come out sometime before, like just before or just after Christmas. <laughs> kind of a pizza reviews channel. Now, like the only non-gaming content I do is food reviews. Try out Noah's granulated milk. I'm still waiting for Gardy to mail me some of Noah's milk. Still waiting on it from Gardy. Got the strikeout, so I secure the tie. Yeah, I should at LeBron. I'll do it once maintenance starts. Hey, LeBron, why can't I get my um, Sprite with Cranberry? It's not even Christmas yet. Wind out to first. That was a tempting hanging curveball. Very tempting, but effectively thrown. Oh, yeah, no, I'd, I have to use camera angle too. Maurer crushes that to center, but that's out number two. Probably going to get the tie here. Probably going to get the tie here. Hundred twenty six power on the Tyler Austin. I just realized the overlays block most of the stats, and that's not on purpose. Oh, Joe Kelly signing with the Dodgers. I mean, it's kind of like the rich get richer. Although, granted, he went from the Red Sox, he won the World Series to the Dodgers. But it's very much a case of the rich and the Dodgers get even richer. CD player, absolutely. Good game, Steve, by the way. Kind of an uneventful tie, but I, th I thought we both played pretty well. Certainly playing three innings off stream would give us a better flavor. I should have more free time over the holidays. Um, I, I know you're kind of busy with stuff sometimes, but if you have the free time, man, definitely would love to get a longer game in at some point. Um, yeah, I would sell Nabel, though. He only has a four-seamer in the K-curve, which is a trash pitch mix. Any GP you get from him is better than nothing. Yeah, good game, Steve, for sure. Uh, Brant, yeah, Joe Kelly to the Dodgers, man, he's been so hot and cold. I don't know if that's going to pan out. But, like, when he's on, he's really good. So if the Dodgers can get him to be on, more often than not, it's a good signing. Joe Kelly went from the Red Sox to the Dodgers, Evan. Brantley to the Astros? Man, gives me a reason to hate the Astros now. <laughs> That's what I think of that. No. Man, no, I, and I have nothing against Michael Brantley, personally. It's just that I thought Eddie Rosario should have been an all-star over him. and No, it's a good signing for the Astros. I think Bryce Harper to the Astros would have been really exciting. I also understand from a business perspective, the market the Astros are in, even though it's the fourth biggest city in the U.S., they're in a big market team like L.A. Yeah, chasing pitches, it's definitely an art form, Steve. But as you learn how to do it, it 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 I would say that differentiates like the top couple hundred players in ranked mode 
from everybody else. And then DB DHD did ask for a game as well, and I know I reviewed his team last week. I I vividly remember it. That's why I'm playing with him, even though technically he's not on the list. I know I reviewed his team and also did not play his team. Ian, um, I'm not trying to ignore you, man. I apologize if it feels like it. Uh, let's see here. Let's use Big Sexy. We got to bust out Big Sexy for at least one game. Dodgers could definitely get Harper and Kluber because Kluber they just have to trade young assets and Harper they would just have to throw a bunch of money at. So I definitely think they can get both. Um, will they get both? I don't know. If I was Cleveland, I would trade Trevor Bauer before I'd trade Corey Kluber. Jacob, you asked a crazy question, or maybe you're about to. Let's see. I think you're about to. And I'm in the game. I just barely caught that, and then I gave up a hit. Okay. Hanley Ramirez up second. I'll commentate on the game. There we go. Strike looking. Let's see. This pitch generally very tempting. Yeah, lined out to second. The belt high two seamer in. Everyone gets big eyeballs over, like fish sized eyeballs. And it's never as good as it looks. It is never as good as it looks. Change up. One, two, a double play. Now the question is, can I get a walk-off win? As I get distracted by pizza. All right, let's lock in here. Thing in the description, if you want to follow me on Omelet, which is, like, I co-stream on Twitch, YouTube, and Omelet. Um, that's, that's how you do that. You don't have to. Omelet joined my stream yesterday, which was pretty cool, like the Omelet developers. So I figured I'd put their link, or keep their link in the stream for today as a thank you. It's really awesome to see them show up for a stream, you know? It's good to know that the companies out there, at least some of them care about you. As I hit a fly out yet another time. That's why I left that in there. Quality's weird. No, that's fair, Angelo. Totally understandable. Good game to, uh, I believe, Pro Gamer 10. I believe Pro Gamer 10. For sure, DB, DHC, but... I want to get the YouTube, get, or Gamer Pro 10. I was almost on it. Yeah, I have the quality set to automatic, and my Wi-Fi is not the best. So it just goes through at whatever quality it can actually go through at, which doesn't always look as good as it ideally would. Excuse me, as good as it ideally would. But there we go. Up next, we have... Um, who's up next? Who is up next? I haven't seen Sean. If I'm missing you, let me know. Matthew, are you here? You might be up still. You might be up still. Uh, otherwise, Red Sox would be up again. Yes, good game, Gamer Pro. Thanks for playing me. And, you know, thanks for asking because I definitely remember last week. Um, oh, no. I, Angela, I, I know you're not hating, man. Like, like, I can tell. Like, you said no offense. Like, I, I know that you're you're just 
giving me honest feedback. And honestly, the biggest thing is just getting better internet, which is something I want to do, but something that's also not practical, at least while I'm still in school and like spending money on school to do that. But hopefully once that's done, get my own internet, get better internet and things will go up from there. Uh, I've heard Puig to either the Dodgers, or no, not to the Dodgers, to the Reds or the Indians. So I think Dashiell Puig becomes the latest obnoxious hothead tied to the state of Ohio, uh, following up the Paul brothers. Um... I don't know if he'd go to the Reds or the Indians, though. I feel like he could go to the Indians for one of their pitchers, along with some prospects, because Cleveland does need outfield help, although they did get Jake Bowers. But Jake Bowers only hit 200. Um, With the Reds, I really don't know what they'd get from him. Puig, Puig isn't terrible, Nuke. Puig is better than, um, what's his name, Jack Peterson. The problem with Yasiel Puig is that he has one of those massive um, Cuba import contracts that pays him more than it's worth. Like, objectively, 267, 23 homers. Like, a ward of 2.7 really is not bad. Like, if you look year by year, his worst season, what was his war on his worst season? Not that war is everything. It's like 2015, 2016, his war was about 1, which isn't good. 2017, 3.7. 2018, 2.7. And his first two years, 4.7, 5.1. So, like, if you look at four out of his six years, he's been a th- basically a three-plus war player. Which isn't bad. Which is not bad. Um, he is not super young, you're right. KP Haas, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. So, welcome to you. Now, Puig's, what, 30? No, Puig's 28. He's actually young, man. (laughs) I thought thought he was, like, 30. But he's 28. That's actually really young in baseball terms. Especially for six years of service. Um, He has six more years in him. I appreciate it, Angelo. Alexander... Welcome to the stream as well, by the way. Um, yeah, Puig does depend on big ball. I don't know. I mean, part of it is if your team plays small ball. The Dodgers aren't a small ball team. They're a big ball team. So maybe if he went to a team that had the big ball, or sorry, more of the small ball mentality, which baseball kind of is moving away from, but if you went somewhere that had that, it might be better service, or it might serve him better. Glaber Torres, uh, yeah, but he's also, he's a known quantity nuke. He can hit 270 with about 20 homers and a little bit of speed. Captain Craft YT, welcome to the stream. Angela, I appreciate it, man, no... I mean, I play the games that I'd like to play on YouTube anyways, so I figure at least the time and effort I put into things, I'm still having fun in the process. It doesn't feel like work. Uh, I Oh, fork just dropped. I really appreciate all the subs I have now. You know, certainly having more is welcome, but I'm not not happy with the ones I have. I'm very happy, very appreciative, very thankful to everyone that is a subscriber of mine. Yeah, Cleveland... 
I understand. Yeah, like, man, Cleveland's at such a weird place. Braves are going to be a good team of the future, Captain. Indians need a total rebuild. I mean, I suppose that makes sense, but they have so many good young pieces. All right, who's up next for a team review? Not that I don't mind, or not that I don't like talking baseball. Heck, I'll still talk baseball. I just want to do team reviews, too. It's what people are here for. And do I think Ronald Acuna... I see you said Robert, but I know it's Ronald Acuna Jr. will do. And what did he do last year? I know... I think it was his rookie year, right? Yeah, it was. And he hit, what, 293, 26 homers? Hey, if if you can get 280 and 20 homers out of him, that would not be bad. And certainly he could get even better. If I'm looking at... Projections on baseball reference, it has him at 287, 21 homers. Um, that kind of makes sense. Like, your second year in baseball, you're likely going to regress a little bit. I, I think he's looked pretty strong already. Man, the Indians trading Francisco Mejia for Brad Hand was a terrible trade in hindsight. Not saying Brad Hand's not good. But um, it just isn't a good move. Yeah, I mean, man, Angela, the problem with baseball right now is everybody's being told not to hit for average. They're only being told to hit for power. Um, yeah, Cleveland is notoriously a very small market team. I agree with that, Ty Two type. Definitely, I do agree with that. He, yeah, he did miss a third of the season. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe he could get back to uh, 25, 30 home runs again. Especially the way... Everyone swings the bat. I think his average will drop a bit. I think his power will relatively drop a bit on like his per game and per at bat basis. I think he'll still be a very valuable left fielder. All right, who's up next for real though? Red Sox, are you here? Sports winner, Red Sox. Um. Immortal Evan. Otherwise, Ty Two Titan might be up. Ty Two Titan might be up next. Ty Two Titan might be up next. Yeah, I no, I totally agree, Angela. Like, advanced analytics say, oh, you average more runs by getting home runs, but. Like, while that might mathematically be true, it completely ignores the elements, especially when it comes to, like, playoff baseball, of working counts, getting on base, taking a pitcher into the stretch instead of the windup. And... Yeah, man, the Dodgers... It's... They have so many players they use. I, I agree with that, Nuke. No, save the home runs for the big power hitters like David Ortiz. The ones who are like, like that's their job. You shouldn't have all nine guys on your lineup trying to hit home runs every time. I mean... I'm not saying ignore analytics. I'm saying... Like... Find a happy medium between pure analytics and also, like, what's good and fun to watch for the game of baseball. Gotta heat up this pizza. It's getting cold. After an hour, I'm surprised I'm... 
Surprised that I still trust it. I'm, I'm not strictly against analytics. I'm just against... I'm just against analytics being the only means of... What makes... Like, like what makes the game of baseball what it is in 2018... And leading into 2019. I'm admittedly quite biased because I was a middle infielder. Granted, I didn't play past, like, middle school, high school level. I was a middle infielder who hit for contact. Not the fastest kid, but I could steal bases pretty effectively. But I didn't hit for power. I rarely struck out. Because, to me, that was the game of baseball that I learned and grew up with. Yeah. I, mean, I guess part of it too is how like the cost benefit analysis. Um if you sacrifice getting on base five times to get five runs, okay. If you sacrifice getting on base like fifty times to get seven runs, nah. Um, what do I think could make perfect inning more popular? Pitch meter, 100%. I think you need a pitch meter in this game because pitching is too easy. Um, I think more dynamic contact too. Pitches on the edges of the plate, and I guess by edges I mean off the plate, should also be... Like, harder to hit solidly. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. But, Nuke, you're... I agree. Like, if you look at my viewership on streams and videos, from, like, mid-November to now, it's it's gone down. And that's fine. I understand. You don't want to watch baseball videos 12 months out of the year. Hey, I watch football, basketball YouTubers now. I don't really watch MLB YouTubers... Besides, like, the perfect inning community that I work with and Giraffe Neck Mark. But when the new The Show game comes out, I watch those guys even though I don't have that game because it's cool to watch that. Um, yeah, I, th- I think both pitching and hitting should be nerfed. Um, maintenance... Milton, good question. Welcome to the stream, by the way. But maintenance, I I think Gameville just, like, cleans out their servers or something. Maybe they scratch themselves. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, specifically, they are going to be adding World's Best cards, a third batch of them. They're all 90 to 95 overalls outside of Legends, some of the highest overall cards in the game. They're, and they do have weekly events that they, they do update. Ian, yeah, I can get you on for gameplay only. And the way the stream's going, I might actually get to you today, believe it or not. I'm going to review Ty... Or, no, Matthew, are you here? If Matthew's here, I'll review him. Otherwise, Ty Too Tight is up next to get reviewed. Give it about 30 seconds while I eat this one slice of pizza quick. I see any more baseball talk, I'll try to respond to that as well. World's best Stanton Stanton is enticing. It's also going to be insanely expensive, though. But... I shouldn't talk with food in my mouth, sorry. Man, if he's cheap when he first comes out, I'm going to try to go hard and snipe him if I can. (laughs) It's pizza time. Dude, I'm getting more and more like MMG. It's pizza time. I'm going to have messing with scammers, most likely because, like, this guy just blatant scammer messes me out of nowhere. And I saw, like, this one kid's like, MMG is going to sue you if you make it. And it's like, that's not how YouTube works. 
Like, you don't sue people. Um, Milton, I think because it's the baseball off season, and you have, like, Madden Overdrive, even though Madden Overdrive absolutely sucks, you have NBA Live, you have NBA 2K Mobile. Uh, the NHL weirdly doesn't have any mobile game, but it's just the off season for baseball, and I think people take a break from sports when they're not in season. And I, I like it's still relatively popular. Like it's not like it completely fell off. It's like most games they they are cyclical. Captain, um, you just comment in the chat. I'll get you added to the list. The list is what I go off of. And honestly, like, most of the people on the list I used to see all the time and I haven't seen in two or three weeks. So that that's part of, too, why I'm basing this game being more dead. Dude, Nuke, I agree with that too. Like, Wade Davis, his world's best card, is so much more hittable than it should be. Yeah, Jury's Familia is ridiculous. Um, well, but Tyson, if you raise your launch angle, you're also going to top a lot of balls directly into the ground. So, like, it, it's kind of a double-edged sword. So what you want to look at is the launch angle on fly balls. And you might be right. Man, Santon is so strong. He can hit a line drive that gets over the fence in like three seconds on a line for a home run. Let's get your team pulled up and ready to review Ty T tight. Might have skipped past it already. I... Yeah, I probably did. I look for that Cleveland. There it is. Second oldest friend on this account. If Noah is dead, this game is dead. See, Ty, I think even if Noah didn't play a perfect inning, he wouldn't be... Like, he'd still come on Discord and hang with us. Oh, you haven't been here in a while? Because I was playing Brawl Stars? Hey, I mean, you can still come to Brawl Stars just to chat and hang out if you want, Ian. But if you don't want to watch Brawl Stars, I do understand that. Yeah, Captain, if you do add the gamer tag to the chat, that helps. That certainly does. Right. I I guess Judge does hit the line drives, too. Judge is a little bit more of that launch angle guy than Stanton, but, man, they're both ridiculously strong. Looking at Tai Chi type. Twenty five Cleveland Indian players. Twenty five Cleveland Indian players plus four or higher. Team deck is, in my opinion, the way this game is going. I don't mind it because I have my plus ten twins team, but it it heavily de incentivizes playing with the players you'd most enjoy playing with. And it makes this game honestly all about um makes it all about just playing with your favorite team. So depending how you fa- feel about it, this game is heavily about playing with your favorite team and not much about playing with your favorite players unless all your favorite players are already on your favorite team which in some cases is true but in most cases where baseball has 30 teams 25 guys a team I guarantee you don't your 25 man roster is not your favorite 25 players um Angela I'll say it depends because like I have an all twins team all plus 10 and the twins are not as popular so it was pretty easy for me what i will say is getting them all the plus 10 is hard but like a team like the yankees it's very expensive to do that yeah i mean i think boosting's kind of the pay to win gap nuke t-rolls are ticking or what tipping off thanks for the update eric 
probably follow that a bit. They've been pretty good since the Butler trade. Although they've lost a couple recently. Playing Detroit. That should be a good game. And Carte too. Alright, I'll get you on the list. If I don't get you this week, because maintenance does start in about 50 minutes, I'll have you on the list for next week, Captain. I guess next week, I won't, I probably can't stream next week, but like, January 2nd, I think I'll be back streaming again. Jonathan Scope, great gamble, great gamble, because it's a one-year deal. He had his worst year of his career last year. But he's been pretty good before that. He's, what, 27 or 28? So, he, he's pre-decline phase for most major leaguers. I think he's primed for a rebound. If he doesn't rebound, it's one year... Of like seven and a half million dollars down the drain. If he rebounds and if Buxton and Sano rebound, maybe the Twins actually put it together. I think the Twins need a couple pitchers, which isn't a radical hot take, but to make the scope signing actually pay off for us and not just worsen our draft position that really doesn't matter much in baseball, as much as your front office picking good talent. I mean, I, I like to go, Cruz wants to sign with us or the Rays. Uh, I don't know where Cruz fits in with us. Put him in right, have Kepler in center. I'm good with that. If he takes the bench or the DH spot away from Miguel Sano, um, I, I think Sano is best suited as a DH unless his weight loss is actually what it's been reported. Back to Tai Chi Tights team, though. The starters, he's got the best ones he can get for a Cleveland Indians team deck. In the bullpen, Tony Sip and Brad Hand as his two lefties. Simba is a righty. Now, I think the submarine style is a bit overrated personally, but Simba is very effective. Uh, Brian Shaw, deceptively difficult to deal with. And then Joe Smith, another submariner. And Zach McAllister. I mean, the bullpen looks good. I'm not sure who I'd add to the bullpen. Because, like, you could have an Andrew Miller, but his pitch mix is bad. Chris Lee, there's not really a new list. It's just a continuation from past weeks, what I'm thinking so I'm going to try to work on a way to get through the entire list um, sometime soon. Not sure exactly how I'm going to package that. Like, get through it. So I can say I reviewed everybody's team. But also, um, so I can then kind of start over with a new list, new year. Zero ERA in six games. That's just, that's solid tie to you, because I mean that's eighteen innings. And even if you f sometimes face like a trash team, you'll just give up a fluky hit, get an error, and just give up a run you shouldn't. Brave super fans, yeah, they are pretty rare. I I know one brave super fan, like not in real life, but through like Facebook via football websites, and then he's followed me over to YouTube. He's not here right now. He doesn't play this game, but he still shows up sometimes. Only Brave super fan I really know. But yeah, Tai Chi Tai, I like the bullpen you've gone with. I'm not sure who else you'd add, honestly add to it. And same with the starting rotation. For your hitting lineup, you have that insane plus 10. Jose Ramirez. You have that insane plus 10, Jan Gomes. Now, Ramirez, you might be getting rid of if you try to get his world's best card. Oh, you always get extra innings? Yeah, that that would be a pain, too. Uh, Sano, 
I think his hitting's okay, but yes, his plate discipline part of his hitting could be improved. Lindor, player as his player of the week, I think it's a bit cheaper than his player of the month. Because I was going to say, his player of the month is better. His player of the week, not far behind. And for the difference in price, seems like a solid pickup. Michael Brantley, I mean, that's who the Indians have had in left field. So, can't really say you should have anyone different. Can't really say... You should have anyone different. Who else is there? Is Dribble Cabrera at DH? I'm a little bit surprised, but not... Not, like, mad surprised. Um, <clears throat> Melky in right, okay. Not sure who else I'd put in right over Melky. Shinsu Chu in center. Yeah, I can see why Cleveland needs outfielders. <laughs> Jason Kipnis at second, not bad. Angela, you've got four righties, two lefties in your bullpen, and starters, three righties, two lefties. For me, starters don't matter that much. Because it's a one in five chance of getting any of them. I want at least two lefties and two righties in the bullpen. Angelo. Because you use your bullpen every game. or I mean, I don't use my bullpen every game, but I can. Ooh, Wolves down 10-0. That's, that's not good, but I mean, we do sometimes start slow and come back. That is true, but that's not a good start. Um, yeah, Angela, because you use your bullpen every game, and to have lefty-righty answers... Jigsaw, Alex, is Miller Park. You have about 42 minutes. Best of luck. Miller Park, the slide in left field is one Bernie Brewer, the Brewer's mascot, slides down every time they hit a home run. That's how I know it. I actually sat right under it at the NLCS for Game 6, wearing all my Viking stuff. I got the tickets, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wear all my Viking stuff because I'm a Vikings fan and I hate the Green Bay that much. <laughs> uh, people were salty at me, but man, it, it was fun. It was fun. I don't know about Mike Napoli at first base, though, Ty Too Tight. I uh, can't, Car I feel like Carlos Santana can fit in there, and maybe to like mess with your overall, you're doing that. Maybe to mess with your overall, I can see that. But otherwise, I would say uh, I would just... Oh, here we go. Santana at first in your roster B. Yeah, that's what I... I was going to say, that's what you should be doing. So maybe just fix your roster A. Otherwise... Ah. Not really sure what there is to upgrade. Mike Napoli... Is Napoli better? I suppose the hitting stats could be. But then is... Is Cabrera also better? Well, probably, because 97 versus 93. You can't listen to volume. Do I have the game volume on? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Yeah, and Captain, you have three lefties, three righties. That's ideal. I say at least two. Oh, you can't hear. Yeah, let me type it. There you go, Alex. Hopefully that helps. Oh, the reason I say two and two is so you can do lefty righty matchups. Um, based on what the opposing hitters can and can't hit well. And with that in mind, if you only have one lefty or one righty and they can't, and like they're in a terrible mood, thanks Alex for the sub. Glad I could help out. I, I mean, I wanted to help out just to help out, but hey, if I get a sub, I get a sub. Anyways, the reason I say at least two and two 
if one's in the bad mood, at least you have a second backup option. Um, if you only have one and they're in a bad mood and you need to use them, it's not a, it's not a pretty situation to be in. That's why I preach that. Am I too tight? Do you aren't gameplay? I'm guessing you probably do. Maybe you don't. Like my team, I have two good lefties in Rogers and Dunsing. And then four righties currently. And I'm working on a Zach Duke. I don't know which righty I'd get rid of. Honestly, man, because... I honestly might get rid of Dickie for... What's his name? 12-10? Hey, Wolves are coming back. There we go. <laughs> Alright, tie too tight. We're going to play you. So you can't hit. Well... We'll give you like 30, 45 seconds to get on. Tight, too tight. You want to see Dickie? All right. And let me know, man. Are you okay with me throwing knuckleballs? Because what I'll say, if I do throw you knuckleballs, I'll throw you like three, four, five in a row. So you can see that they all break the same way. If you don't want to see it, you won't see it. But if you do want to see it, I'll throw enough that you can see they all break the same way. Smiley, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. You're in both team reviews and gameplay, and I have you on the list for gameplay only. Now, I'm in the middle of tie two tights. I just got done with this team review, and now I'm doing his gameplay. But if you're still here and wanting to play on the stream, you would be up next. You would be up next. We have maintenance coming up in about 36 minutes. Captain, dude, I'm hoping it's fun. And again, at some point... Hope maybe this week, if not this week, then January 2nd, almost certainly I'll be able to stream again. Either way, if you're here, you'll get to enjoy it in the fun as the participant, getting your team reviewed and then getting some gameplay. Oh, Mike Marine? Yeah, I don't remember much of anything about him, to be honest. What's he known for? I can't say I know much about him. I can't say I know much about Mike. What is he known for? So he's a reliever. Okay. His ERA has been horrendous outside of his first year. But... You know, take a flyer on the guy and see what he turns into. All right, I'll just go with Lynn, but we're going to use R.A. Dickey, as has been requested. As has been requested. Um, replacement from our Eric, I think we got C.J. Crone, and we also got Tyler Austin. So if we use one or both of them at first... They would replace Maurer. Would they be the same? No. But they would be replacements. Captain, I believe after this, it's Smiley. After Smiley, um, maybe too real for life, pizza skills, or Ian. But after those three, then it would be you. So, like, there are, again, just because there are people who have been waiting longer than you, I want the people who have waited longer to, oh, you started your Yankees Steam Deck? Yeah, it is very expensive, but good luck on it, Smiley. Here we go. Byron Buxton. Okay, Gameville, you need to fix this glitch. I should not go into auto mode after the first pitch of every game I play. Oh, 
Oh, that was a nice 2-1 changeup there. That was a nice changeup. 2-2. Two, two. You gotta expect just about anything here. And that was below the plate. Got me to chase, though. And with two strikes, I like to protect the plate. I don't like striking out. So he got the first out. He got the first out. Let's see who he's gonna bring in. My bunch doesn't really pose much besides Kepler. All right, Brian Shaw. Oh, dang, I think my laptop died, so I'm not going to see the chat. I'll get it alive in a minute or two here. 2-0, two oh, though. 2-1 strike now. Uh, well, the strike made it 2-1. Ah, uh, you got me to chase it low, but it drops for a single. There we go. Runner on with one out. Runner on with one out. I'm going to get the computer back alive again when I can so then I can see the stream chat. I should probably stop ignoring the messages until I can see the chat again. But guys, I'll get back to the chat in just a minute. All right, Brad Hand in the game now to face Tyler Austin. He's matching lefties and righties. Not a huge advantage here. Uh, don't trust. Shoot, that's going to mess things up for a bit. Joe Maurer, one of the goats. Yeah, number seven is being retired. Um, Smiley, I would say, oh, wait, let me let me pick uh, Dickey. In terms of a good team, like the Tigers and the Marlins are both good budget teams, although I've told people to work on both those teams. So they might be a little more competitive. All right, so the knuckle broke down and broke in. Didn't break quite the same. Okay, maybe it is more random than I thought. But it's generally down and in. It's just a little bit random on how much. You gotta throw it until something happens. You got a TikTok ad? Dude, I still have to actually do something on TikTok. Like, I, I still plan to. Just post gaming clips on TikTok. Struck him out. Yeah, generally less popular teams. I mean, like I don't, I don't hold anything against Joe Maurer. I just can't honestly say he's a goat. He was loyal. <laughs> definitely, unlike Jimmy Butler, Eric. Definitely a different scenario there. Um. No, I mean, the only thing I have against Maurer is bilateral leg weakness. Good game, tie too tight. Hopefully you were okay with literally only seeing the knuckleball. <laughs> Hopefully that was okay with you, man. If it wasn't, let me know. Smiley is up next if he wants it. Wait, did I get a bronze draft from a live battle that I didn't notice? What? It's actually really cool. Might make me actually play. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I just threw it a lot to show, like, to try to give you an idea of how it behaves. And I know it, it always looks super weird. And having the patience... To, like, actually take the pitches is not easy. Is not easy. All right, smiley. Pop. 
Palmetto, there he is. Yeah, two-week Christmas break is nice. It's nice. Uh, I guess, like, reasonably, most breaks are, like, a week and a half. So getting that second week, I don't know, I, I always had, I never really got it two full weeks, but. Um, now it sounds pretty nice. Yeah, and Gelms at max effectiveness. Yeah. Dude, it would have been nice to see the stats. All right, Smiley, you're loading in. I'll wait. Chris Lee. Um, remind me of your username because I know I have you on the list. Are you... Oh. I feel like you've got to be kind of high up on the list. At least enough that you should be up after Smiley. Alright, there we go. Smiley up here. I'll use... You know, I want to use Boreas again. Yeah, no, that's the problem with one inning. And, like, <clears throat> I'm doing one inning for the stream. Oh, Sports Winners 2. Yeah, you're definitely up there. Um, well, it's not that up there, but you would actually be up next. All right, good luck in your three-inning game, Captain. Thanks for the uh, well wishes in my game as well. EG Money Service. Welcome to the stream. Buxton in a terrible mood. But he still might be able to do a little bit. Alright, the four-seamer. Just missed. He's going for a strike with it. That one down and in, I just missed as well. So he just missed, then I just missed. And one out is the result. Joe Maurer, warning track power. That was my favorite nickname for him. All right, four-seamer in there for strike one. Might we see a breaking ball off the plate? I think that might have been it, but I hit it anyways for a single to right. Maurer was very good at getting singles. Now, his power wasn't there, but again, good single sitter. Pitts just misses to Tyler Austin. Want to know, I am expecting, like, a strike on the corner. Oh, I guess the slider ended up on the corner. That that was a nice change of velocity. Then the hanging curveball I get to the wall. Going to push second and third. I'm going to round third. Yep, just to make sure that Austin gets the second. So second and third, one out. Eric's watching a movie, and I think... She, I missed who else was <clears throat> watching the movie. I'll check in a second. But I believe it was Angelo. All right, ball on the ground. Yeah, we're going to make him throw home. Safe everywhere. Base is now loaded. Oh, Angelo's watching a movie tomorrow. Or no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Friday, he's watching a movie. What movie, Angelo? If you know. And Eric, I don't know if you're watching a movie now or on Friday. I'm going to guess Friday, given you're watching me and the Timberwolves. But, like, what movies are you guys watching? All right, Michael, I will get Recur, which is your perfect inning account, added to the gameplay team review queue. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Glad to have you here. And Eric, yeah, go for sports teams are young and or not very good. Oh, I, I 
Bases loaded, one out, and couldn't do anything. Freak the Mighty? Haven't heard of it, Angelo, but hopefully it's good. Maintenance begins in about 22 minutes. Oh, an S-grade curveball. Might be dumb and dangerous to hang it here, but I want to see the S-grade curve. That was kind of nice. That was kind of nice and satisfying. Oh, you're watching it in school. Nice. Movie day before the break is fun. Movie day before the break is always fun. All right. Here we go. And O and one, same location, but the curveball. Yep. Yep. Then O and two, the change up low. Hit to right, but thankfully that's out number one. Span, surprisingly, hasn't made any errors for an E grade defender. Yeah, Shad does look good, but I can see not wanting to use him. Swung through it, and I get the out at second. Nice play, Joe. Well played, Joe. MLB the show marketing scheme. Freak the Mighty based on the book. Freak the Mighty. I haven't heard of either, but again, I hope they are good. Oh, Lion King Friday, that's a fun classic. Good game to you, Smiley. That was a good battle to 0-0. Zero, zero. He got out of the bases loaded. I did give up a base runner, threw him out. So we had some action, as opposed to a 0-0 zero, zero game where no one gets a hit. Yeah, those ones really aren't fun to watch. And I know that as much as the next guy. But that's a fun 0-0. Zero, zero. That's a very fun 0-0, zero, zero, Smiley. So definitely good game back to you, my friend. Glad we could get that game in I think a three inning game the way that was going would have been wild let's see up next sports winners two or Chris Lee I know said he's here so we'll get him up next sports winners two or Chris do you want the one inning game as well or just the team review I suppose just the one inning game and not the team review if you really wanted. Let me know. Oh, I have your main account, but not your two added, but I have your two on the list and not your main. Do you want me to review and look at your sports winners account, or do you want me to work on sports winners too? Let me know which one as well. I'll give it a couple minutes. I'll give it, I mean, by a couple, I mean like a minute and a half. Um, Uh, Chris, you want? I mean, Chris, we can do both if you want. If you just want the one inning game, we can do just the one inning game. I hope you know both is totally on the table, though. Dude, yeah, Smiley, you got your team to plus seven. I noticed that when we were playing. I'm happy to hear that. So, congrats on that. I I know it's not easy to do that. Uh, I haven't used Dickie's fastball much, Ty T tight. Congrats on the LT, Sams. All right. Uh, Chris, are you okay with it being on... Oh, with the second account. Do you mean your sports winners or your sports winners too? I'm not sure which one you consider to be your second account.
Send a request to sports winners too, if that's what you mean. Wait, I have them both added? Okay. I didn't see sports winners too. Why did I not? Oh, there it is. Is the sports winners to an all Padres team plus two or higher? Shimp is going to be jealous of this team. Um, I can't say I would have known much about the starters, but I think you have probably five of the best you're going to get for the Padres. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do 88 speed on LT. That's good for a linebacker. Angelo, it's fine, man. Your team has to be doo-doo before it's good. But, yeah, I'll test out Dickie. I won't use the knuckleball unless you're okay with it, Chris. But I will test out Dickie to see his velocity. Because that is a good question, Ty T. Tight, that I haven't noticed yet. In the bullpen... Hand, Erlin, Buchter, and Schramm. So four lefties. You have two righties in Stammen and Gregerson. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I feel like there were some other good righties that I was looking at, but I don't remember them. So that might that might just be what you have to go with. Brad Hand does have good Padre cards. So, I mean, the pitching staff, again, it's a Padres team. But I think you have some of the best Padres, if not the best Padres available. I say that because I'm only half familiar with them. And your roster be your hitting lineup. Well, no. Roster I'm going to assume you use most in your non-DH lineup. Cameron Mabin in center. Ryan Schimpf at second. I mean, I guess that's who you'd have to play at second. Chase Headley, his 2012 card at third. Yep, that's the right Headley to have. Yep, the 15 Dodger badge because you got a new catcher nice in. Uh, Chris, I'd say literally just like the first pitch, and I'm not even going to throw it for a strike just to see how fast the four-seamer is. I'll throw one pitch out of the zone. That's a four-seamer to get the velocity, and then after that, I'd say it's going to be fair game, game on. I won't, again, I won't use the knuckleball unless you say that you're okay with the knuckleball in the interest of fairness. Adrian Gonzalez at first, um, and then Will Myers and also Hosmer off the bench, and, well, if you even have Hosmer, Villanueva off the bench, okay. So you have Galvis at short. That Galvis card, I only use for a game or two, but it's a really nice card. I will say that. I don't know who Reyes is in right, to be honest with you. I haven't heard of him, but he looks like a good card overall-wise. Upton in left and Hunley at catcher, both solid pickups. Humley, I think, is ridiculously expensive because it's the Padres and they don't have any other catchers. All right, I can use it if I want. You'll get on it. All right, I'll 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 mix it like I would any other pitch than Chris. Again, the first pitch will be an intentional ball with the four-seamer to get an idea on his velocity. Renfro off the bench, I would have maybe expected in right. But Reyes looks like a nice card, so I won't question it too much unless you want me to. Salarte, Jankowski, and Ibar are definitely fillers. And you also have Villanueva. I feel like he's good against righties and not lefties, or maybe it's the other way around. If you use him, I'll know for sure. But he has good power, and again, if he specializes against the right pitcher, he can be really good. RIP Oversuck, dude, I haven't played Oversuck in a week, and I know I should, but I also know I just honestly can't. And then Will Myers at first, great positional versatility. Surprised that there's not um, Eric Hosmer on this team, although you do have two first basemen. 
So I'm not as surprised as I maybe would be. Not sure if you wanted two or one. I'm guessing you wanted two because you said two. I'll look at your one briefly while you get on for a game. Gabriel, welcome to the stream. Um, was, were you DNDBGDGDH, Gabriel? I feel like you might have been. I feel like you might have been, in which case I do have you on the list, and you you might be one of the next couple teams up for a review. Otherwise, I can add you, and I don't know if I'd get you in today if you're not the person I just mentioned, but if you are, there's a decent chance. Yeah, I'm missing out on the Ultimate Freeze promo, but, dude, I just hate Overdrive. All right, Gabriel, you're up next. So depending on how long this takes, yeah, sell the Bueller. I mean, he is insanely expensive. You could buy a whole different player with him. Probably could sell the Turner too, but, I mean, this is a nice-looking lineup just scanning it visually. I mean, man, over, overdrive, overdie, overdry, oversuck, whatever you want to call it. I just got fed up with the game. Like, you know, you push the wrong button one too many times, and enough's enough. I'll probably go back to it in like February, March, April, somewhere in there, but for now, I'm just so done with it. I, I can't fake liking Overdrive. All right, exhibition from Sports Winner 2. Shoot, let me send it to you, man. I'm sorry I missed it. You want to be pitching an inning with Beltre? Captain, were you playing a person named YFTFTFGF? Because if so, that would explain a lot. And if you know who that individual is, <coughs> Noah. <laughs> tight to your tight, on it. Ty T side is on it. Dude, that had to have been Noah. I should see if Noah's been on the game recently. I'll check on that. Uh, it doesn't matter which pitcher I use because... You know what? I'll use Bartolo. I, oh, I'm the home team, so he can't hit. But that's okay. She, I should have played at Sports Winners, so I could have had Bartolo try to hit a home run in Petco Park. I would have put him leadoff batter, too. Uh, overdrive next year could be good, depending on what they change about it. Like, I think they need to change things about the game. I, I think the changes, they, they need to, like, just restart the game. 92 Velo. Let's see. No, it's not Y T T G H H G N. It's Y T F T F G F or something. All right, intentional ball for the velocity ninety six. Ninety six with the leg kick two seamer at ninety eight. Two seamer was at ninety eight. Up one and two. Go on the change up. On the ground. Four out number one. And Dickie has that massive leg kick, which can be potentially deceptive. 96 on the four seamer, but I think it's still 98 on the two seamer. Well, he's not going to let me see it. That's okay. Go the slider. And it's a pop out to first. Four out number two. Yeah, we should see if Noah's just been hiding from us. <laughs> 98 mile an hour two seamer from Dickey. Perfectly thrown. Totally realistic. 97. Guys, 97. The game hacked. Dickey should only be throwing 98 and above on his two seamer. Curveball worked. Will I 
will I get a win? Or will I just have a bunch of ties on stream? Real question. Real question. Ian, your friend's dad is bench coach for the Angels. Nice. Okay. All last grade pitches on hand. Dude, no, use hand. Are you putting Renfro in for Reyes? Okay. Okay. Was that 99? I think that was 99. And then the two-seamer, which looked at least 98. And the curveball that I swung through like an idiot for out number one. Yeah, this is probably going to be a tie. Hey, I almost hit the ball to the edge of the infield. Heck yeah. Ninety-nine. Ninety-eight on the two seamer. So it's probably ninety-nine on that four seamer. Ninety-eight, yeah. So that's probably ninety-nine. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine range. And then I lined out to third for an uneventful tie. No, a good game, sports winners. That hand card is nasty. Back to back Brad's. Uh, that was a good Brad hand. Give a hand for Brad hand. I know it sounds like ironic or whatever. It's not meant to be. Oh. All right, we're going to see if Noah died or not. I, I don't think Noah actually died. Certainly... I don't hope he did. Like, I I hope he's okay. Has he even been on the game? Wait, he changed to a Red Sox fan. He hasn't been on in a week. What's wrong with Noah? What is wrong with Noah? No, that was a really short game, Chris. Strangely short. It took four or five minutes. Up next, so we got Sports Winners 2 done. I'll get your main Sports Winners on the list if you're wanting. It's... I'm going to demote it, but I'll get it. Get it back on there. Oh, what the... Rap? All right, there we go. <laughs> gamers or furries? Well, I'm a gamer, so I'm going with the gamers. I'm not a furry, so I'm not going with the furries. Bus hit Noah too hard. He didn't thank the bus driver. He didn't thank the bus driver, guys. Up next, I believe, Gabriel, are you still here? It's either Gabriel... Or else I believe Pizza Skills was. Uh, da, 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 da. Where'd he go? Angelo. If Angelo's here, he's Pizza Skills. Otherwise, it would be. Probably Captain Craft. I'll be able to get maybe one of them in. If I. Alright, Gabriel, I'm gonna see how well I can get you in. If I don't finish your team review, I'll keep you on the list. But I'm hoping I can get it in. Do have you added? That's the real question. The answer might be no, which might make this difficult. I made a good choice. What did I make a good choice on? Oh, the gamers, yeah. I mean, man, I... I'm not going to tell people how to live their life. I'm just going to tell people uh, I I would favor the gamers. <laughs> all right, Gabriel, I'll send you a friend request. Again, if I can't get through all of it, I'll keep you on the list so I can get through all of it another time. Okay, yeah, you can send me one, too. I think I just sent you one. I think I just sent you one. Oh. 
Pizza makes me sleepy. Yeah, I, if you don't see mine, that works too. Oh yeah, the hive. Apparently, that's my hive. Um, info. <laughs> Three minutes until maintenance. Three minutes until. We're celebrating Noah's life. Oh. Alright. Looking at this team. No deck effect, but not that close to it, so that's okay. Alright, you accepted it. Yeah, I'm, I saw that. Congrats on getting a new dog, Ian. What is his or her name? Is it a him or a her? Or an Apache attack helicopter? <laughs> Gameville wants their maintenance back, yep. And uh, what kind of dog? Congrats regardless, though, man. Always awesome. I know I've got some pet chinchillas, and they're, they're just the best. And you got to think... Uh, da, 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 uh, I say I, I've got to think dogs would be good, too. I showed my email, Ian, but here's the thing. I have another one of my emails listed as my business email for, um, what's it called? For YouTube, so people can hit me up there. And, like, I have access to that email, so if anyone tries to hack my account, I can just go right back in. I can just go right back in and be like, no, I didn't authorize this change. If you feel what I'm saying the deal is. All right. Anyways, I I honestly don't think I'm going to get through this team review, but the starters, I don't like Chris Sale's pitch mix, but I like everybody else. His name is Fluffy and he's a Maltese. Yeah, rip. Definite rip. If someone wanted to hack me, they could have hacked me just based on my username. Oh, yeah, Maltese. My next door neighbor has a Maltese. Or had a Maltese? They either used to have or now have a Maltese. Um, no, they're... They're nice, friendly little dogs. I think I think you'll like him. His name is Fluffy. Yeah, they they're very fluffy little dogs too. In the bullpen, Andrew Miller. I don't like his pitch mix either, but I do like Brad Hand. Having just faced him, he's a nasty pitcher to face. Eric O'Flaherty, another nice lefty. Barnes, Yates, and are good righties. But Tance is good for velocity, but kind of a doo-doo pitch mix. So I'd replace Miller and Batances with better pitch mixes along with maybe Chris Sale. That's me personally, though, and boom goes the maintenance. I'm going to wrap this stream up in a couple minutes, take a short break, and then I will be back um, at around 9.15 Eastern with about an hour of Brawl Stars. About an hour of Brawl Stars. Give give a hand for all the Brad Hands. Woo! Woo! Brad Hand! Yeah! There you go. Gave a hand for Brad Hand. Pirates team deck would be solid, Smiley. Yeah, because they they'll have like good cheap McCutcheons. They'll have Polanco, Marte, uh, Bell maybe at first, maybe a Pedro Alvarez, uh, Corey Dickerson in their outfield. Yeah, definite rip, but Captain, I should almost certainly be able to get you in the next stream. Shoot, Facebook's about to go crazy. How do you clip 
YouTube streams? What what do you want to clip, Tai to Tai? I can clip it for you. I can clip it for you if you really want me to. Um, shut up, Facebook. Uh, let me literally just mute this chat. Let me mute the chat. If you wanted my email, if you want my email, I literally gave it to, oh, the go Brad hand. <laughs> yeah, I will, if you want me to actually clip that, I can do that for you, man. I can, I can definitely clip that for you. There we go. 92 Vado from a silver pack. That's really good, Gabriel. Huge congrats. We'll have the Go Brad hand be a meme. Have it be a meme. I think I'm going to wrap this stream up in a minute. If you guys have anything else you want to say, I can type responses in the chat. Otherwise, when I start up Brawl Stars at about 9.15 Eastern, I can still talk MLB then as well. If you want to tune in, whether or not you play Brawl Stars, you're welcome to as well. Um, but yeah, I am going to end this stream right here. Thanks to everybody for tuning in. Um, and until next time, and as always, peace out.